I grew up in the village and was married off to an Ethiopian Orthodox priest at a very young age. My husband used to get drunk and beat me all the time. We lived in a hut outside the village and when he would beat me, I would run back to my parents' house and beg for their help. They said it was against our religion to do anything and then they would send me back. They were afraid of him. Then I got pregnant with my first daughter, Adanich. I got really sick during the pregnancy and no one thought I would survive long enough to give birth. I went to my parents' house to give birth. They were afraid that if I stayed in my house, I would die. I thought after giving birth, my husband would change for the better, but it just got worse. One day, I escaped and ran to the town of Nutasalam without telling anyone. I knew I had some relatives there, but had no idea who they were or where they lived. I was able to find them after a long search. Then I called my parents and told them where I was. When I was staying with my relatives, I always felt desperate and cried all the time. I became a slave for them and wondered how long I would have to stay this way. I wondered if my relatives treated me this way, how would someone else treat me? I was also working as a slave in their restaurant. So many people came there, even very rude people. I was raped by one of these rude people. When my friend saw me crying and asked me what was wrong, I couldn't tell her the truth. It was later, when my menstrual cycle stopped, that I knew I was pregnant. I knew if I told my relatives about it, they would think that I had been flirting with someone. I just told them I felt sick and wanted to go back to my parents. But because I was a slave, they refused to send me back. I then escaped to the town of Bardar. I planned on having an abortion, but couldn't do it. I hoped I would have a better life in Bardar. At this point, it seemed like God didn't care about me at all. I began working as a servant in someone's house. I concealed my pregnancy till I was eight months alone and then I left my job. There was one woman who had been working for the same people, making bread, and I decided to tell her my secret. This woman was very poor, but she felt sorry for me and took me into her home, even allowing me to give birth in her house. After the birth, I cried even more than before. I refused to even see my child for a full three days after I gave birth and the woman I was staying with had to force me to feed her. This woman told me I had to be strong to take care of my child because there is no telling what she will be when she grows up. After a while, she said, look at your baby. She looks like she's a child of a wealthy family. I glanced at her and realized this was the truth. I began receiving food for me and my baby Tariq from the Catholic school. They offered to build a bigger house so that the woman I was living with and I could continue staying together. But after the house was built, her neighbors told her I was going to try and steal the land her children were meant to inherit. She then forced me to leave the house. I had Zertiber equal to three US dollars. I rented a mad house using all the money I had left. I had faith that God would work something out but I wondered what I was going to do. When I began to feel like I was starving, I went out to bake on the streets. People would give me leftover food. One day, someone told me about some foreigners who were keeping her child during the day when she worked. The next morning, I went out in search of these people. I found Grace Center. I filled out a form. And the next day, I was told I could leave my child and come back for her at 5.30 after work. I was so happy. I began doing construction work, but was always covered in bruises from the labor. So I decided to go to Gray's and ask them for a job. Three days later, I was told I could start work. I was so excited. And now, I lead praising God. I know that God knows the future. What I worry about now is raising my children so that they won't have the same kind of life I did. I'm happy with my life and praise God for where I am. But sometimes I wonder why God made my life so challenging for me when I was just a child.